Starting at 8 p.m., the display will be visible over an extensive area of the harbor. People should mind their safety in congested areas, keep venues clean, and take care of public property. Try to use public transport and take note of special traffic arrangements. Vessel operators should pay special attention to marine safety. Carrie Lam appeals for support for political reform. Getting ready for the Lunar New Year Parade. We are not at war with Islam. We are at war with people who have perverted Islam. The terrorists do not speak for over a billion Muslims who reject their hateful ideology. And calls to embrace Muslims in the fight against extremism. Good evening. First of all, from everyone here at TVB News, Kang Hei Fat Choi, and happy and healthy year of the sheep. Acting Chief Executive Carrie Lam's New Year wish is for lawmakers to pass the government's political reform package. This as celebrations have been held around town on the first day of the Lunar New Year. Ronnie Samtani tells us more. The sound of firecrackers marked the start of the year of the sheep. While firecrackers are illegal, it remains a new territory's tradition. The acting chief executive took part in the festivities this morning. Carrie Lam presided over a lantern lighting ceremony and wrote a New Year couplet calling for social harmony. Lam wished everyone good health and happiness in the new year. She also expressed hope that the government's political reform package will be passed in the Legislative Council. Lam explained that during a recent visit to Beijing, officials in charge of constitutional development expressed the willingness of the pan-democrats to communicate with mainland officials. She stressed that the administration will continue to try to arrange a meeting between the two sides. But Lam reiterated that it would not be practical if the only goal of the pan-democrats is to ask the central government to retract the reform framework set by the National People's Congress Standing Committee in August. She also said that there shouldn't be any preconditions for the talks. On this first day of the Year of the Sheep, thousands flock to the Lamchun wishing tree. It's so beautiful out here and I love seeing all the cultural decorations, the food, it's just perfect. What's your New Year wish? Good health, uh, happy all the time. Good health, uh, long life and um, just um, uh, prosperity really. I have a uh, good um, results in a uh, university. Apart from the traditional wishing tree, this year couples can cast their hopes and dreams together by tying wooden heart-shaped wish locks to this red rope, which itself symbolizes the destiny that connects two lovers. Over at the airport, there was a Lunar New Year lion dance to get everyone into the festive mood. And this baby boy was born two minutes after midnight at Baptist Hospital. Weighing three and a half kilos, he is the first baby born in the year of the sheep. Mr. and Mrs. Chu are the proud parents. Ronnie Samtani, TVB News. Another holiday tradition is, of course, the Lunar New Year Parade. And it's due to start in Chimsa Choi in less than half an hour. And that's where our Owen Fung is standing by. Owen, Happy New Year, and what's the atmosphere like there? Thanks, Chris, and Happy New Year to you, too. Uh, it's really quite windy and chilly out here in Chim Sa Choi, but uh, people don't seem to be put off by the weather at all. Um, not only locals are here tonight, but uh, I also met many tourists along the route. Some of them told me they've never celebrated Chinese New Year before and they're very excited to see the parade. And guess what? I spoke to some of the performers earlier today and they're pretty excited about it too. These kids have been learning lion dance for a month. 
They put the final touches to the routine this afternoon. So how do they feel ahead of the big show? So what will you be responsible for? Uh, back, back of the head. Okay. And uh, are you nervous? Yeah. How are you feeling right now? The first Lunar New Year parade was held back in 1996. It's celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. 13 floats along with more than 20 groups of local and international performers are taking part in the International Chinese New Year Night Parade. As a warm-up to the main event, the Hong Kong Tourism Board gave out 98,888 K coupons along the route of the parade this afternoon. Many people waited eagerly in the queue for the free gift. This visitor from Taiwan says she feels very lucky to get a coupon. But some didn't seem to know what they were lining up for. We just followed everyone else off the ferry and we just yeah, and up here. got pushed up here. <laughs> the parade will set off from the cultural center piazza. It will go through the streets of Chim Sa Choi before finishing at the Sheraton Hotel. Special traffic arrangements are in place in the area. The parade will start in about uh, 25 minutes and the anticipation is really building up now. And uh, if you do plan on coming out here, do note that many, of the ro uh, many roads have been closed off and uh, some bus routes have been diverted. That's all from me for now. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, so and standing by live in Chim Sa Choi for the parade. Lunar New Year festivities have been equally colorful across the world. Diane To takes a look, starting with Beijing. The capital city rang in the Lunar New Year with a colorful bang. Actually, a lot of bangs. Fireworks were set off across town, as were long chains of firecrackers that's supposed to scare away demons that carry bad luck for the year. No one knows if that really works, but one thing the pyrotechnic frenzy did lead to was serious air pollution. Beijing authorities had urged residents to cool the pyrotechnics this year, but stopped short of imposing a ban like nearly 140 other mainland cities have. And the New Year excitement pushed the air quality index from good around 7 o'clock last night to hazardous after midnight. Over in Shanghai, thousands flocked to Longhua Temple overnight to pray for a nice New Year. Authorities were extra cautious with crowd control to avoid a repeat of the fatal stampede on New Year's Eve. In Taiwan, the Lungshan Temple is a New Year favorite for everyone. It's just a good way to start the New Year, to say goodbye to the old one, and uh, it's the real tradition of Taipei. It's just, and the, the decorations are beautiful. Dragon and lion dances brought even more fun to this festive occasion, especially at Yokohama's Chinatown. This Japanese lion dancer said he hoped the dance can help bring stronger Sino-Japanese ties. And at the nearby Guandi Temple, many prayed for peace between the two countries. They're not the only ones who want better relations with China. Das ja hao. Prince William showed off his Mandarin ahead of a royal visit. My warmest wishes to you all for the Year of the Sheep. And in New York, fireworks lit up the sky above the Hudson River. The 20-minute display was the Big Apple's first Lunar New Year fireworks show, touted to nearly equal the iconic Independence Day spectacle in scale. Strong and chilly winds cleared the skies afterwards. Diane Toh, TVB News. In the United States, President Barack Obama has called on Muslims around the world to fight the misconception that groups like the Islamic State speak for them. That's the agenda the White House is pushing to a summit to address violent extremism. All right, please have a seat. With the Islamic State groups spreading in the Mideast and elsewhere, Obama is using this week's summit on violent extremism to urge the world to broaden its response far beyond military intervention. He dedicated his keynote address to convincing Muslims he is not leading a war against them. And we are not at war with Islam. 
We are at war with people who have perverted it.